nice so we had been discussing the meaning of happiness yesterday and we took some assignment also that what happiness means to me i have to find out so it is proposed that happiness is to be in harmony there is something that we have discussed in the workshop also so whatever situation or circumstance i am living in if there is harmony in it if there is synergy in it then i feel happy being that situation because it is naturally acceptable to me to be like, like that in that situation if not the case then if i am still in any situation supposed to be in a state of disharmony i feel unhappy being that in situation so to be in harmony is happiness and to be in disharmony is unhappiness this is something that is proposed now at a personal level i need to observe if this is what i am aspiring for if this is what i mean by happiness so i have to make it out for myself so this was the assignment for self reflection study observe what happiness means to you is it the state of harmony or something else what makes you happy observe at different moments of the day so now i have to observe within me i'll say in an open ended manner i have to see within myself without supposing without assuming anything what happiness means to me what makes me happy i can observe this at various moments in a day and in addition we have to do certain things uh, as an assignment that we have been talking earlier also so in addition observe how often you are trying to get happiness from outside from favorable sensations throughout to the body for example thinking of eating tasty food or from favorable feeling from another individual for example wanting the other to be nice to you and perhaps getting disturbed or upset when this does not happen check if this is in line with your natural acceptance or if this is a conditioned acceptance something that you have become habituated to or believe to be right for you or true for you and at the end of the day you have to note your observations so i hope by now all of us have made our journal in which we are noting our observations and as we are discussing you can make it in a hard copy or you can also uh open some file on the drive and note your observation or you can use some app in the mobile and note your observation if you keep on noting your observation you will be able to see a gradual progress in your observation a gradual progress in your state of being in the state of happiness the evaluation of your preconditions or evaluation of your uh, sanskars the purification of your sanskars so this was the assignment yesterday if you have any reflection on this any question pertaining to this then you may oh yeah uh, this uh... the meaning of happiness or the harmony stated uh, to with regard to the state and situation both uh, uh, so to meet the state uh, means the state of mind and uh, the situation is, is there is hello the state is within situation is outside yeah yeah so uh, the situation which i am referring to maybe say my family uh, my uh, society or the nature of the value right bhai yeah. yeah suppose so it means uh, suppose we compare the good all the four orders all se char aaya bhum hum to kaam karte hain so uh, i mean parivar samaj and uh, all these things so if the situation is not uh, say in harmony or you say is not in uh, Uh, say okay with regard to my own opinion or with regard to me then uh, i will not be happy right is it that yes, what is being said what is being said if there is harmony in that situation i naturally accept to be in that otherwise i want to come out of that situation no suppose suppose the situation i mean uh, uh, suppose the condition outside me is uh, uh, is not good and uh, uh, and suppose uh, i wish that i want to be in harmony with it 
So, and if I surrender to that situation, then I may be in harmony with that situation. Anna? I'm not saying that. Huh. I do not need to surrender, but I need to understand yeah. what harmony means in that situation. Huh. What is the program to ensure harmony in that situation? That I need to be okay. clear about. So, should I say that uh, see the happiness uh, which is inside me is, with, is uh, related to the state uh, in which I, I, I am now at present? Uh, happiness is my state. Yeah, happiness is my state, but happiness also is the state situation. Of the other also. Yes. So, if there is not a harmony in this situation, then it is my duty to uh, make it uh, harmonious, right? Not my duty. So what is being said is that the state is there within me. If it is there. Harmony, yeah. If there is harmony in my state, I am happy. Mm. If there is no harmony in my state, I am not happy. Now there is situation around me. Mm. If there is harmony in the situation, I naturally accept to be in that situation. If there is no harmony in that situation, I want to come out of it. Now, yeah. if there is no harmony in the situation, and it dis disturbs my state, then there is a problem. Mm. Mm. But if there is no harmony in that situation, there is harmony in my state, and I want to see my program for ensuring harmony in that situation, mm. then I am at peace, then I am happy. So nice, so nice. Thank you, thank you, very nice. Thank you. Nice, Bhaiya. Any other reflection on this? Something happened yesterday with me that was on a uh, situation where I was not happy. I thought that, yes, I am not happy, but I should be happy. So I understood that when I am unhappy, I need to be happy. And that is happiness. I have understood in partially that is happiness is not what is not unhappiness that i observed yesterday thank you so what is not unhappiness you observed yesterday so what does it mean yeah no 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 i observed that i am unhappy mm -hmm. and i understood that from there that yes happiness perhaps is what is not unhappiness Yes, that, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, no, I'll say that this is not the right way to observe. I am unhappy and I then expect happiness to be absence of unhappiness. This is not the right program. So essentially, I am again focusing on unhappiness. I am not focusing on harmony. So no, I am expecting happiness, no? I am expecting yeah, happiness. Expecting, yeah, you are yeah. expecting happiness. But hmm. you are not able to. You are not able to make a program for happiness. So you are trying to escape from unhappiness. Yeah, 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 exactly. This is not the right yeah. program. Oh. So why to what would be the right program there? To make a program for happiness. To make a make a program for harmony. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Say in the family there is some situation in which there is disharmony. Hmm. And if I try to escape from the situation, that is yes. not the right program. I need to understand what is the program to ensure harmony in the family. And that resolution in me ensures happiness in me. It may not ensure happiness in the family that very moment. But I am able to see the solution to the problem. That ensures happiness in me. That ensures my participation in that situation. Otherwise, so in that, oh, yes, yes, carry on. Sir. Otherwise, my happiness will not continue. I am enslaved by the situation outside. If the situation is favorable, I am comfortable, happy. If the situation is unfavorable, I am uncomfortable, unhappy. This yes, is what yes. is happening. And then we keep yeah, on blaming the situation for our unhappiness. So, my point is when I am unhappy uh, uh, due to that situation so in that case then and there 
I should not react. I should not respond even. So I I should uh, contemplate on um, the what happened, and then perhaps I will start with the program with me. What is told by you? See, few things to note here. You cannot respond unless you contemplate. So it's not yeah. that. Yeah. And I should not react or I should not respond. Basically, I need to understand. So I need to contemplate on my participation in that situation. And mm -hmm. with that, I can decide my program, which will be the response in that situation. Yeah. So in that case, I, I, I should not respond. I can keep silence. That is, that is the first thing. Then I must understand what is it, what is the situation. Then after that, I will start with the this program which I given by to me. Yeah. yeah. In some sense, okay, but you are saying you know, that I should not respond. You cannot respond unless you are clear. Hmm. Uh -huh. Even if you try to, it would be some kind of reaction because at that right. point of time, you do not have the competence <laughs> to respond because the role is not clear. Yeah, yeah. So I have one doubt there that suppose there is something that is exigency that yes, you have to respond in that situation, but I do not want. So if in that case, problem may, may, is there also. I have experience. Yeah, that's why we are running the morning session so that proactively we are prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In okay. this situation, we are prepared. Whatever can be the situation. And yeah. let's see if you look at the existence. Uh -huh. So in, in that case, uh -huh. so in that situation, I will respond or not, or, or I, I will silent, be silent or not. Yes. See, being silent or saying something or doing something, ultimately, unless you have the clarity, how will you respond? It would be some kind of reaction only. But I have to. Yes. I, I, so yes. You keep on doing this unhappily. And in due course of time, we try to be happy by ensuring right understanding. Because that is the point. I have to mm -hmm. live every moment. I have mm -hmm. to participate every moment. But the participation is not clear to me. Now, mm -hmm. what we are doing in the morning, what we are doing in the workshop, what we are doing through education, we are trying to see the solution proactively. Mm -hmm. Isn't okay. it? Okay. Okay. So we are trying to work on ourselves so that I always have the response within. Mm -hmm. I'm always able to see the response. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bhaiya, uh, Bhaiya, yesterday there was a situation. Uh, I was here in the institute and there was some responsibility at the institute also. And at the same time, there was a call that some of my relative has died. And uh, at the situation where I went for the criminal uh, ceremony, how to be happy in that situation? That's whenever the situation is like this, somebody has a relative has died. Yeah. Now, if I rephrase your question, the question is how to be in harmony in that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can I be in harmony in that situation also? Uh, that is the how to be is a question, by yeah. Yeah. So, one thing to be clarified is that happiness is to be in harmony. Happiness is not something like laughing or making joy or something like that. So, if I'm able to understand what death is what life is, what birth is, and what my role is if somebody dies in the family, then I will still continue to be in harmony. So if somebody has died in the family, now I'm able to see my relationship with others in the family, I'm able to see my role in that family, and I get committed to work for that role. With this, I'm in harmony. Otherwise, I may lament, but I may still not see my role. I may go to that place, you know, I may lament, I may do so many things, I may cry, but I am not able to see what is my role with the remaining members of the family. So within me, I am able to seek with clarity 
what death is. So the self is there, which is continuing. The body is there, which is no more. And it was always temporary. Only that, with that temporariness, some kind of event has taken place, where the coexistence of self and body no longer continuing. That's all. So this is something I'm able to see very clearly. And I can see this for every human being. I can see this for myself. So proactively, I need to see that before anything like that happens, what is my program? So the body is my instrument. I am central to this human existence of mine. So I have to make the right program while the body is working as an instrument. And I have to make the same program feel all, with all others with whom I am related. Then only I am able to fulfill my role with all the human beings. Isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. With this clarity, I will be resolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think at this situation, it looks to be very uh, typical to be in harmony at this, at such a situation, what I feel. That's anyway, we, we know that the information as what is body, what is self, and self is permanent, body is temporary. These things, as information, we know that. But when the situation comes, I think responding will be, I hope, will be a very typical situation. Yeah, so see, of course, we'll not expect this thing to happen. And this certainly, you know, not a favorable situation in family, in any family. But I know that this may happen. I am always able to see with right understanding that the body is changeable. The body is changing every time. You see, the cells of the body are uh, taking birth and dying for after a limited period of time. Isn't it? This is happening in my body all the time. I can observe this. And this body also took birth some time back. It is going to go back to the soil after some time. Now, during the lifespan, I need to make my right program. That's why we are saying that the body is my instrument. And essentially, the role of this instrument is to ensure right understanding, right feeling in me. See, one major reason for unhappiness with death is that I see that I could not fulfill my role with that person while the person was alive. Isn't it? Yes, if yes, I am fulfilling my role with every human being who is there with the body, and I am always satisfied. If I am not able to fulfill my role with the person, maybe because of my conduct, I could not assure the other. Because of my conduct, I could not ensure mutual happiness in that relationship. Then I will have this kind of feeling that somehow the relationship remained unfulfilled. And I have no more opportunity to fulfill that relationship anymore. Isn't it? Yes, but yes, if yes. I'm able to see the right program with every human being, every moment, I'm able to see the relationship of self and self. I'm utilizing my body as an instrument and helping the other also to utilize the body as an instrument. So with that preparedness, I'm always participating. And this is something that I can see very clearly. So for that, I have to have clarity about myself to begin with. So I need to see that I am not the body. I need to see that I am there with the body. And I am different from the body. And the body is a material entity, a temporary entity. I am a continuous entity. And I need this body to ensure right understanding, right feeling in me. With that, I become responsible to my body and I become responsible to every relative of mine also with this understanding. So when I have to make a program with my baby, I'm able to see that my program is to develop the right understanding, right feeling in the self of the baby while the body is working as an instrument. And I have to develop this competence. I have to make a similar program with my spouse, with my parents. With some family members, I have enough time with some family members, I do not have enough time. 
This is something that I can see very clearly. Yes, yes, Bhaiya. That's uh, lastly, Bhaiya, one question. Yes. That's fulfilling the relationship with, at least within the our near ones. Is it possible, Bhaiya? That's I am looking very difficult to have that fulfilling relationship between. In the sense, my role. Yeah, it is quite possible. See, fulfilling the relationship again means developing the self of the other. So the other may be unfulfilled because of one's own preconditioning, because of one's own inclination towards sensation. But I am able to see my role. The outcome may not come today. But I am able to see that essentially my role is to develop the self of the other. This is something that I can always you know, make a program for. And with that program, I am able to be satisfied within that, yes, I am doing the right thing and I have been doing the right thing. And this is my program in future also. See, we are yes. living with temporariness because we are not clear about continuity. So we always have some fear, some apprehension. We always have you know, some doubt. So we need to see what is continuity. I have to live with continuity. We just see you are a continuous unit and continuous means not a uh, few years, you know, it may be thousands, lakhs, <laughs> so many years. Yeah, yeah. So you are going to be there and you have this lifespan. You have to make a right program in this span of life. Then only yes, you yes, are designing yes. the body as an instrument rightly. Yeah, yeah, that's yesterday. One more point, yeah, that's lastly, I want to note it. So I noticed it there, it is a rural place. And most of the young generation is under the addicts of drinks. That's I discussed it with uh, at the same situation with the people who are around me. The outcome is I hope 90% of the younger generation is under this the drinking addiction then how can we establish the relationship between them or how we can improve their self via yeah. This is a very, uh, what I felt is a very critical situation what is existing. Yes, Bhaiya. So if you look at the program that we discussed, there are three kinds of programs that we can make for the society. First one is people's education program. Then the second one is education sanskar program. And the third one is holistic living program. You know, societal development program. So, if you look at the first program, people's education, we can plan to have some session with them. We can interact with them. And we need not focus on drinking. We need to focus on right living. So, if you start talking about drinking, it becomes a kind of sermon to them. And they feel as if you know, we are uh, being dictated by somebody's words. No. I am sharing something for your happiness. So we can always make a program. So if we have the time and opportunity, maybe we can decide some place, some time, and we can sit with the people there and discuss the proposals. Some sincere people will come out who will start taking the responsibility in that village. So we have to work for people's education program. Then we can also work for education sanskar program. I think the children do not get addicted. So why not have the right program for education in the school and colleges there? So if you look at the work that is being done in the technical education, so here we are able to work on the future parents, future teachers, future policy makers. And if you look at drinking habit, <clears throat> it's not that only the people in the villages are drinking. The people who are going through education are also taking a lot of drink. They are spending more probably on drinks. So that has become a common habit. That has become a common fashion. So we need to see why people are going for such things. And the two major reasons are like one for all these programs I'm saying. One to get favorable sensation from the body. 
that is one reason and second they were expecting some favorable feeling from the other and that could not get fulfilled so they are looking at it as a escape route we'll discuss some <coughs> in another slide so people are going for intoxication to avoid the tension frustration in life so the problem is not essential in drinking the problem is these two the inclination towards sensation for happiness and the frustration depression anxiety in life which they want to escape and we have to make the right program for that yes 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 i think uh, it takes a very long time what i feel see let us get started see yeah. what we talk of time in fact time is there time is <laughs> always there i may have some limited time in my span of life but the human generation is going to continue i just have to start the program the next generation will take up so let us get started in fact what is happening now that we are able to see that on one hand we are able to work in technical education on the other hand there are extension activities through which people are now working voluntarily and as an extension so some work is being done in the jails some work is being done in the slum areas some work is being done in the villages some work is being done in the school so that is quite possible so we need to include the extension activities also in our program yes yes we yeah definitely that might be a solution bhai yeah thank you bhai yeah thank you very much see in fact every college needs to take up responsibility of the surrounding also with the limited time and opportunity at least this has to be a part of our vision that we are running a college in some area and there is a slum area nearby am i doing something to uplift the life of these people am i doing something to make their lives better of the slum areas of the villages nearby even the city people because we are able to see that happiness is not going to be ensured by physical facilities some are deprived some have accumulated but unhappiness is there on either side so with the time and opportunity given in education we need to make the program in fact if you look at the government policies they are also saying that we have to run some programs they are the government policy say that you have to work for unnat bharat abhiyan or you have to take responsibility of tb patients or you have to work for slum area these kinds of programs are also there so if you look at the policies they are in favor you have to utilize those policies yes yes thank you bhaiya thank you very much uh bhaiya uh, happiness is a uh, innate purely but most of the people are depending on their happiness on the outsource that is uh, uh, external thing uh, why because they are not realized it is purely internal uh, what my observation is uh, desires are continuously coming into the picture even though all those desires fulfilling again and again new desires are coming into the picture uh, sometimes unable to fulfill it and worrying continuously some some people without reason also continuously worrying uh, at the same time uh, uh, one example death uh, sir told earlier uh, that is uh, due to bonding having more bonding with the people uh, not realizing body is temporary death will come uh, for everyone any time uh like that realization is not there that's why they are continuously worrying after uh, death of any relative so these are all the things what i realized but most of the people are uh, under this one only that is the desires and worrying more and more then uh, bonding uh, with uh, relatives and whenever any problem happen to them then continuously worry so uh, worry is uh, dominating in this society uh, instead of uh, happiness so it is uh, as per your statement uh, people education is very much required for in villages and uh, society so uh, this is my uh, uh, conclusion related to the uh, happiness yes 
so now this bonding as you are saying is owing to over evaluation yeah so we feel bonded with some and we ignore some relations we under evaluate those relations yeah. now what is existential is the coexistential bond through which we are related to every human being every entity of nature and we need to understand it we need to see it once i see it i no longer over evaluate any relationship i no longer under evaluate any relationship rather i am able to see the reality as it is yeah right and then we have to make the right program right. so for I, this yeah. we can conduct uh, programs in villages no sir why not let us start yes ah, yeah we can uh, start when... with the people's education see many of us have yeah. our parental houses in villages yeah. and we have been visiting our villages also time and again yeah so yeah. we can make it a program that whenever i go ta- next time i will have some meeting some yeah. session with uh, people in my neighborhood there might be some dharmshala some common some place, place where we can sit yeah. together yes yeah you just need a blackboard and a chalk yeah that is enough <laughs> that's enough <laughs> Actually, you carry some, yeah, you carry some posters with you, on which the content is written. Hang it on a uh, uh, one, one. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, hang it on a tree yes. and start talking. <laughs> yes, so yes. Right, when you're studying relationship and uh, physical uh. facility, you place that poster yeah. in front, yeah. and discuss at length. Uh. And we see that people need it. People are looking yes, for yes. it. Yes, required. Sir. Yes. Uh, actually, actually, I am working in Tamil Nadu, but whenever I I belongs to Andhra Pradesh, whenever I go to my native place, I am contacting some uh, arts and science colleges and plus two plus one plus two colleges, and I am asking principal one hour just I want uh, uh, guest lecture. Then they are accepting, and uh, I am presenting sir, this one. So I am feeling very happy, but in villages unable to talk to them. <laughs> but they are not accepting all these things they are unable to understand uh, that level is not there see we have to come to their level to talk and we'll see yes. if you look at the living pattern yes. their living might be more in coherence with coexistence than ours yeah they are not polluting the nature to that extent and you know? mm. people are not depleting the nature to that extent yes. they are living together they are not living in isolation as we are living in cities one thing second thing a common scenario is that we have been living in villages once we get educated we migrate we become a part of city life and then we somehow lose our connection with the village also but we owe to them it is our responsibility after getting educated to go back to that area and work for the development of that area in two sense of the word then yeah, get- we are indebted to them Yeah, and uh, even uh, addicted people are more other. in villages. Every yeah. day evening they are taking alcohol. Most of the people addicted in villages. That's why. So uh, it is becoming a, a difficult task. But we have to work continuously for them. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You just see, yeah. all of us have at least two generations back our forefathers living in villages. If you start connecting to them, a very natural process will begin. So, in addition to the work that we are doing in the education system, we are able to extend it to uh, villages, and a very natural process of development will begin. And we do not require much resources there; only that we have to be serious about it. We have to take care. Yeah. Nice, Bhaiya. Thank you, Bhai. Yeah. So we said that happiness is to be in harmony. and unhappiness is to be forced to be in a state of contradiction so this is something that we are able to see isn't it nice nice <clears throat> so we are able to see that happiness is to be in a state of harmony and unhappiness is to be forced to in a state of contradiction now if you look at the present sources of happiness there could be three possible sources so one could be sensation from physical facility from the body so there is some physical facility with which the body is in touch and <laughs> from there we are getting sensation and this could be one probable source for happiness that we have been working for or we might have been working for
So, through body, when I'm getting sensation, there are five sense organs sound, touch, form, taste, and smell. So, sound means I am getting some sound in the ears, some favorable music, favorable sound in my ears. Touch would mean some favorable touch, some soft touch. Form, I am able to see some form in the eyes, something which I uh, like, something beautiful, something that I am looking for, so that it can give me happiness. So some form through my eyes, some taste, I'm looking for through tongue, some favorable taste, then some favorable smell to nose. So these are five sense organs. And through these five sense organs, I interact with the rest of nature and I get some favorable sensation. And I look for happiness through the favorable sensation. But the sensation is something which is there as an activity in the body. And I'm always getting sensation from the body whenever I pay attention to when I read the sensation from the body. Now, if I assign happiness to it, then it's a problem. The sensation has its own role to ensure health in the body. But if I try to fetch happiness through sensation, then there's a problem. What is the problem? That whatever I get from sensation is going to be temporary. Some sound, some favorable music. Okay. Now, I may like that music, but I may not listen to the music forever. The same music which was very sweet to me some time back appears very harsh to me if I keep on listening to the same music. And that's how I have to keep on changing music. So any kind of sensation that I get from my ears in the form of sound, I cannot continue with it. So it is temporary. Then the dependence on the body. I'm dependent on the body. If my ears somehow are not working, I'm not able to get that music. But if still I'm dependent on that music for happiness, I become unhappy. There is no completion point. I cannot say that, yes, you know, now I'm going to be happy forever. I have achieved something which is going to ensure happiness in me forever. Continuity is not possible. I cannot continue with it. And there's no definiteness also. The same music may make me happy sometime. The same music may not make me happy the other time. There's no definiteness. Somebody in the family may like classical music. Somebody may like rock music. Somebody may like some other kind of music. There's a variation also there. Like when we are living together and we are trying to get happiness from music, isn't it? Then our classes are going to be different. And then if we try to fetch happiness through these sources, then there would be disharmony also, quite possible. So neither definiteness nor continuity, dependence on outside, no completion point. This is the problem. Similarly, with touch, some soft touch, some favorable touch, some sensual touch. Again, if I try to get happiness from some sensual touch, we can see that it is not going to be continuous. Some form, some look, some beauty, something, you know, which I look for uh, for the sake of happiness, the same thing will be there. Similarly, with taste, you may like something, some sweet dish, but you cannot continue with that. You cannot eat it all the time. It is temporary. And if the sweet dish is not available and you are looking for it, you feel unhappy because there is dependence on the external object. There is no completion point. After eating sweet dish, I cannot say that, yes, now the job is done and I'm going to be happy forever. And there is no definiteness also. Someday I may like that sweet dish. Someday I may not. And there is quite a variation also. It is not universal. Some people may like the same sweet dish. Some people may not like the same sweet dish. So no universality also. And when you go to live with this, then there would be contradictions in relationship. Now, if you look at the sensation that I derive from physical facility, then the following sequence applies. It is tasty and necessary to begin with. So, for example, 
take the example of food i am feeling hungry i am getting food it is tasty and it is necessary also for nurturing my body after some time when i have eaten enough it is no longer necessary it becomes unnecessary isn't it but still i am getting the taste if i still continue with that you will find that it becomes tasteless maybe you like rasgulla you go for rasgulla you eat 10 rasgullas after some time your stomach is full but still the rasgulla appears sweet to you now if you eat two or three more rasgullas you just try it sometime and any favorable dish that you like you will find that the sweetness is gone now it appears somewhat bitter the same sugar appears bitter maybe you like sugar in the tea you know one spoon of sugar is enough you add three spoons of sugar you will find that the same sweetness of sugar is now appearing bitter to you because the quantity has gone up so the taste is gone it is tasteless and after some time still you have to eat rasgullas it becomes intolerable does it happen so it becomes intolerable so with any physical facility if i try to fetch happiness through sensation from the body the following sequence will apply now another source of happiness could be uh, some feeling which i am trying to get from the other for example let somebody pay attention to me let somebody appreciate me let somebody place me highly let somebody say that i am fond of you let somebody say that i cannot remain without you <laughs> anything isn't it now here again you see that i cannot get that feeling every moment it is temporary so somebody may come and appreciate me but if i feel that one should be appreciating every time every moment it is not going to happen and if it happens also then it's a problem let's say you we are very costly maybe some exotic kind of cloth cloth and go to some party and you expect that people will come to you and appreciate they will say wow so good looking you are now you are a star in this party now some person may come and say that oh you are so good looking you are a star in the party but if he keeps on repeating these words for five times six times 10 times you get fed up you said what this person is doing he is making a joke of mine so it is temporary then there is dependence on the other i am looking for people who can come close to me and appreciate my looks my garment you know and nobody is coming i feel cheated oh i spent so much on the clothes and nobody is coming close to me or appreciating me what is happening there is no definiteness also somebody may appreciate somebody may mock at me somebody may just say something in front of me and laugh behind me isn't it so it is not definite also and there is no completion point after putting on such a costly garment i cannot say that now i am going to be happy forever there is no completion point isn't it no continuity also so you can see now we are trying to fetch happiness through these two sources primarily if you look at the current trends in the market current uh, trends of the life of people what they are looking for they are trying to look for happiness through these two sources and that's why you can see so much of consumerism so much of indulgence so much of uh, problems in the relationships people are trying to get favorable feeling from the other and if one is not sharing that feeling they are looking for some other relative particularly in the marital relationships you can see the problem that are arising divorce and extramarital affairs even the students you can see they get infatuated you know they are uh, some other problems like premarital affairs so people are looking for happiness from favorable feeling from others and these are the problems associated so they get into some relationship and they get fed up after some time now they look for new relationship now if some person is sincere in that relationship he or she feels cheated and there may be crime there so when i try to look for favorable feeling from other 
and to so that it can ensure happiness in me this is going to be the problem similarly as we talked about the various kinds of sensation there is going to be a problem but you just see what we are doing for example you have some income today okay now you have an added income your income gets doubled what will you do with that extra income now just try to imagine what will you do you'll try to invest it for these two sources maybe if the needs were getting fulfilled earlier and your income suddenly gets doubled what will you do just think what will you do so this is the problem associated you know generally we try to look for happiness from these two sources and these are the problems associated so these are sources of temporary excitement this is not happiness exactly but there could be other two sources of happiness the same right feeling i can ensure within me i can ensure the feeling of trust in me the feeling of respect in me affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude love so if i am able to ensure these feelings in me then there is a definite completion point there is continuity the self organization it is definite the feelings are definite which are acceptable to us naturally once they are in me and i am able to contemplate they are going to continue and the happiness out of that feeling is going to continue that's how there is a definite completion point the feeling is definite and the happiness you know is also going to be definitely available that is definitely going to be there in me once i am able to contemplate on these feelings this continuity i am no longer dependent on somebody outside if i have that feeling of trust in me it is there in me for every human being i do not need to depend on somebody for the sake of happiness i share this feeling now earlier i was begging the feeling i was begging for happiness if you look at the present situation it so happened that two people are begging for right feeling from the other and and the bowls are empty on both sides i am saying that please give me some respect please give me some attention please trust me is and the other person is also saying the same thing and we have complaints so we are begging for right feeling and we are complaining to the other that other person not you know sharing the right feeling with me so we become like this we become a slave we become dependent outside we are begging for right feeling but when i am able to contemplate on the right feeling is there is stated in me it is a source of happiness in me all the time i feel happy within me all the time i am able to see that every human being is my relative i am able to see that i am related to the whole of nature isn't it and the source of this right feeling is right understanding so self exploring i am able to understand the harmony at all levels of living human being family society nature existence so this right understanding and right feeling has different completion point continuity is there self organization is there no dependence is there outside isn't it definiteness is there and then the source of happiness is inside so if you see from the point we started discussing that is happiness my innate nature or is it some external influence so if you look at the lower block it is an external influence and that's how it is a source of excitement if you look at the upper block it is my innate nature i want to be here now if you look at ourselves in the process of self exploration we are in the process of transition from lower block to upper block so unless we are able to work in the domain of block b1 that is for right understanding right feeling or this upper block we somehow try to fetch happiness from outside what to do i am looking within for happiness it is not there so what will i do i look for it outside but it so happens no that in the process self exploration the dependence on outside comes down we are trying to awaken the inner source of happiness and in that process we are more happy more at ease with us more comfortable with us and we are also able to make a right program for our relatives so that they also are able to see the source of happiness inside in place of begging happiness outside so 
observe this within yourself there are some hands raised let me take some reflections uh, just um, uh, in the morning there was some discussion about the death and even the students and you know in punjab uh, there are issues like um, people are migrating and then this um, addiction issues are also there so i'm i'm teaching this course in this time btech fourth semester uh, so i've given them some projects like visiting the old age homes and just to make them more sensitive so it has means it is making them little sensitive when they come with and then then i make them to do the sharing also then their role and commitment and then even in business statistics i took this time a subject business statistics in bba first year and then we all decided to have a survey in a one of the constituency which is called dakha it has more than 100 villages so we have around um, um, uh, uh, quite number of students in bba and bcom we send them there and then again they also found that there is some houses were all closed not there and then they become sensitive in this way that some of them are the businessman then they say that okay what is your role and commitment you see why why so find the uh, what are the reasons they are living so one of the reason is unemployment in the villages so they become sensitive then they said that okay uh, sir we are businessman so we'll try to open some business there so in that way what i am saying that um, uh, it's a slow process continuous process bhaiya but then uh, uh, through these projects and even one project i gave to this btech students on making nests i got the idea from you only and then so they have brought the nest now we will try to um, means install them on the on the trees so that something can be done nature also and then last year i means my mother in law my father in law they passed away also after sickness but then i could find my role there and right now uh, and learn from there also what the doctors do and then the old age there is a limitation and then i find role my and my wife is so disturbed that nobody wants that parent should go but then this disturbed then i can find the role of mine and now right now there is one foreign student international student who is critically sick she is in the hospital here so i can find my role and participation without means if i see the self only so that journey and yes it's a long journey it's not easy some death happens but then this is the reality this is a journey body is an instrument and we are trying to see from the self to self relation then i find my role and participation there also it's very nice bhaiya this is what just i wanted to share in brief and this really? all due to the this is all due to the mean self exploration and all the support of each other as you said we are trying to even today i have a class a um, uh, day long class for uhv their exam is approaching then i thought that okay let sunday again an assumption that sunday is for taking rest and all so that i found that harmony i will spend around 6 to 8 hours with them today whoever will come we will have this self exploration together thank you bhaiya nice nice bhaiya see once we are able to see the source of happiness inside no so we feel like sharing and we have so much to share i feel prosperous within i feel like sharing i feel happy within i feel like sharing so each one of us is a source of happiness A source of prosperity around, and we'll see that the students are activity oriented. So we need to give some activities to them, and they will do it with commitment. We have to make the right kind of program with them. At the core, we are able to see that we have to develop right understanding in them, and then we have to give some activities so that they are able to also validate right understanding and living. And they want to participate. This is their natural acceptance also. only that we have to give the right program to them i was when uh, uh, i don't remember the name but when bhaiya was one bhaiya was asking the question of death and then you have answered about harmony in self then happiness will automatically can be established i i i i feel exactly right two cases i cannot do it but in one case when uh, i i was uh, one day uh, one death happened and then i went to the college and in the college there was one students 
suffering from some mental problem and uh, uh, initially i i was not in harmony i could not talk to him properly i become excited from the uh, uh, inner core and i could not counsel him properly later on when i become uh, my harmony comes within i called him again and the i i can communicate to him in a proper way so thank you bhaiya for explaining clearly that harmony is happiness and you can only and i am feeling bhaiya new generation not at all is bad even they are drinking they are doing a lot of thing i am interrupting a number of students they are they need something which they are not getting from teachers please bhaiya don't mind this statement and if we will able to give them love with when our state is in harmony uh, we can communicate with them properly and we a number of people are communicating properly thank you bhaiya this i wanted to share with you nice bhaiya uh, 